Hi everyone, welcome to questions on electronegativity and polarity. So the first question we have here is asking us to explain what is meant by the term electronegativity, worth two marks. So we're starting off with a definition. Definition questions do crop up. You're looking at eight to 10% of your marks coming from definitions. So you need to make sure that you know what they are. If not, you need to go over them, make sure you get them commit to memory. So electronegativity, we need the ability of an atom to attract electrons in a bond or in a covalent bond. That'll get you two marks there. Or another way of saying it is the ability of an atom to attract a shared pair of electrons. That will get you two marks as well. So starting things off quite nice and easy, provided that you know what your definitions are. Next part of the question, we asked to draw a 3D diagram of CH2Cl2. Partial charges to indicate polar bonds worth two marks. So because we have a carbon that has four things bonded to it, we should be looking at a tetrahedral shape. So this is what we should be looking at here. We have our two chlorines and we have our two hydrogens. Make sure we have the two bonds that are in the plane. So in the plane of the paper as it were, and then we have a hash and a wedge bond showing coming forward and going backwards as well for our hydrogens there. If they add partial charges, then we'll have chlorine being slightly delta negative and our carbon being slightly delta positive. So we need that 3D tetrahedral arrangement and then the charges on there giving us two marks. The next part following on from that is saying why this particular molecule is polar. Well, because the fact that the dipoles aren't cancelling each other out, which sometimes on a symmetrical molecule, those dipoles can cancel out. Well, that's not going on here because it's not quite symmetrical as we have those electronegative atoms are on one side of the molecule. So if it was perfectly symmetrical, then that would work out quite well. They cancel out because it's not, and therefore that's why it is polar. And the final question here, a lot of information there. It's given us some electronegativity values and then talk about methanol being soluble in water because it's polar bonds. So what it's asked us to do is to draw a label diagram to explain why methanol is soluble in water. And then you've got all those bullet points there of showing what you have to show on your diagram. So make sure they're quite particular. Now it's only worth two marks and there's four points there. You have to make sure you've got the displayed formula and then we've got the partial charges, we've got the lone pairs, any intermolecular part, there's everything going on there. So this is what we have to have. So we have our displayed formula of our methanol and our molecule of water. Our first point is taken care of. Second point, partial charges. Well, okay, oxygen is going to be slightly delta negative and the carbon and the hydrogen will be slightly delta positive. So therefore we've got that as well. We then have showing lone pairs. Well, oxygen is going to have the lone pairs. So each oxygen has two lone pairs. And then we also need to show anything else going on, showing those intermolecular forces between the molecules. Well, that's where we're going to have a hydrogen bond from the one of the lone pairs on the oxygen going to the hydrogen. That's what we need there. Okay, make sure that's a dashed line. Don't have it as a solid line because that looks like it's a covalent bond, which is not. So make sure it's a dashed, some sort of a dashed bond, and then label up it as hydrogen bond. You could also write H bond as well. That would be all right also. So that diagram there, all those labels, all those signs, lone pairs, everything on there. If you have that there, then you'll get two marks. So it's actually asking for quite a lot for just two marks. But again, it's nothing too unreasonable. It's told you exactly what it should what should be in that diagram as well. So if you follow those through, you should be all right getting those two marks. Okay, and that will do us for today on electronegativity and polarity. See you next time.